Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's the Tarot Priest back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, we're going to be looking at who's coming towards you. Uh, before I get started, I just want to let you guys know I am extremely, extremely grateful for all the support I've been receiving, all of the great positive feedback, the comments, the donations, the booked readings, all of you that have subscribed and liked my videos. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you have not, please do subscribe. I will be doing Q&As every week on live. So if you are interested in those, make sure you click the bell to receive some type of notification for when I do go live. And... Um, Let's see what else I have if you want to book a uh, more personal reading that resonates more in direct to your situation You can find all that information in the description box below and Last but not least if this video does not resonate with you or these decks don't resonate with you It's nothing personal. There are tons of pick a card readings But I am a firm believer that if the universe has led you to my video something will resonate with you So who's coming towards you? We have deck one deck two deck three and deck four so let's get started okay so if you pick deck number one this is your reading don't forget to comment down below if you pick this and it resonates with you um, I love positive feedback I try to always respond to your guys's comments the best that I can so we have an oracle message I'm gonna say for the end we have two tarot oracle messages and then I'm only gonna be using six cards remember that cards do not have um, gender. So if it's a queen, it doesn't have to be a woman. It's just the energy of that person. So who's coming towards you? Okay, so right off the bat, whoever's coming towards you, it looks like it is somebody from your past. The reason why I say that is because we have the Three of Swords. Whoever this person is, they are hurt. Um, and also with the Wheel of Fortune, uh, usually this is some type of cycle that is incomplete. Um, it's not the World card, but it is some type of cycle that is going in the opposite direction, which would mean that this is a past person. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles um, and the Seven of Cups. This may be someone that you dream about often. Also could be someone that you had something together. You guys were building something together. Um, with the devil card here, it could be a Capricorn, doesn't have to be. Devil is Capricorn energy. Whoever this person is, I feel like they might be coming in a different energy than they normally would. So if they're normally like an asshole or uh, very rude, I feel like they're coming back in a different type of energy. Let me clarify with these two cards. Two of Swords, yeah, they made a decision. And the Wheel of Fortune again. I trust whatever the universe brings me. So whoever this person is for you, deck one, I feel like they've come out of the energy that they were previously in. And I do feel like this is something that you need to ad address and confront so that you can move forward. So with two Wheel of Fortunes, it's just telling me that it's, it's affecting your future outcome. It's also affecting what the universe or God, whatever you believe in, has to send you. So if your next person is on hold or waiting for you to come towards you, it's because this needs to be cleared up first. Also, I'm not surprised with this stone because I use a lot of this stone for clearing energy, like clearing negative energy or consuming negative energy. So with that, I, I use the quartz stone to do that a lot. So I just feel like this energy that you're in, it's causing you to have the strength to overcome this. And if you're dwelling on the things that you've lost with this person, I feel like the closure is going to come. So this person is going to come forth because the cycle needs to be, the cycle needs to end between you two. And the devil card, like, I feel like you might assume that they're coming from a, the same perspective. Like, I'm not going to fall for this again. You always say this, or this is something that you always do. I feel like it's causing you to come out of this conflicted uh, mental enslavement. Like, freeing yourself from feeling like the outcome has to be the same or the expectation for this person has to be the same. There's nothing wrong with people from your past coming back, especially if there's something that you can get from it, some type of closure or healing or forgiveness that you can get from this person. So unfortunately for deck number one, I, I see that the person that's coming towards you is somebody from your past. Um, it could be a potential friend, but obviously this is a love reading. So I feel like whoever this person is, you might have, have been having dreams about this person lately with the seven of cups. 
Um, maybe some of you guys are like, wow, I can't believe like it's really over. Uh, we were just together, whatever that may be. I feel like this is because this person, you, you feel like this person is coming towards you. You can start feeling the energy as far as them coming near and closer. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Two of swords, so whatever I decide, I trust in the outcome. So I feel like there is going to be a decision that you need to make. I feel like they've made a decision to come back, but they may, it may take, take them some time to come forth uh, because of pride, ego, and stubbornness. And also, I feel like they are coming out of an enslaved mindset of seeing you the same way. So constantly seeing you the same way in that same energy, not allowing progress, you know, like people change and this goes on your end too. Like the person that's coming back, it doesn't have to be from a negative point of view. People do change. So also uh, with the, who's coming towards you, you're going to have to make a decision on whether or not you want to forgive this person or move forward. Regardless, you should forgive the person because whatever the universe has for you is way, way greater than this situation. Also, I noticed that all these cards are in reverse. I just noticed that all these cards are in reverse. So I feel like with the cycle moving backwards, the same thing with what you're dealing with, this needs to be taken care of before a new cycle comes in. So that's definitely what I'm getting for you guys. Let's see what the card says. Shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. So some of you guys may have been dealing um, with some complicated situations with this person. And you might not even want to see this person again. But for some reason, the universe is putting this person right back around. I feel like it's more so to um, for you to trust in the ability. So a card just fell out of the deck. So I guess I'll take that. <laughs> um, King of Swords. I'm just grabbing the book so I can read what this card means. Wow, it's on the back too. That's crazy. All right. So this is divine. Okay. With the King of Swords, I trust my ability to make a strategic decision. So yeah, it's basically the universe is calling you to make a decision and have the strength to make the decision because, you know, I feel like it's easy to make a decision when you're in negative energy or when the person's angry or you guys are at odds. It's way easier to make the decision. It's like, okay, well, forget you, you know, you're in, you're at odds, but for someone to come back, back and mean it apologetically and sincerely, and for you to still make a decision that puts you best put you in your own best interest is a lot harder. It's a lot harder to walk away from someone um, from just feeling like you deserve better in a place of solitude and peace and tranquility uh, rather than some type of chaos. And obviously it's forcing you to make the decision. Now it's going to be on your terms. So trust in your ability to make the, a strategic decision. Number 36, shine bright like a candle. You will make this, you will make it through this. So what does this mean? Number 36, I'm going to read from the booklet. So you are changing and all about you, everything seems unfamiliar. You are changing so much that you may be wondering if you will make it through this change. That's the crazy part. Like I said, you guys are going through a transformation. So this person that approaches you is not going to even recognize you because you've been through so much. You're, you've healed. You're coming from a different place, um, a place of maturity, uh, ready to start a new foundation for yourself. And also you're coming out of a place of freeing yourself with the devil card here and the eight of swords, you're freeing yourself and you've been freeing yourself. We also have a lot of air energy too. So you could be an air sign. You may like Alice be thinking that if things keep going the way they are, that you could go out like a candle and end it all together. But Alice does not cease to exist simply because she is in an unpredictable situation and nor will you. You have a bright and glorious light within you that will shine through all the changes in your life, through every opportunity and perfect decision. It will shine despite the mistakes and hurts you may experience. The brightness within you is eternal and cannot be put out so easily. So despite the times when you fear that darkness lies ahead, know that the guiding light you seek is inside of you. When you receive this card, know that no matter how difficult or strange things seem to be, and no matter how much your life is altering, that you are bright in a shining soul. So that's a really cool message for you guys, deck number one. I hope this brings love and light to your situation. So to answer your question, who's coming towards you? Somebody from the past to build some type of strength to help you along your trans, uh, transformation and transition into this new cycle that the universe has for you. So if you chose deck number one, I'm interested to see your comment down below if it resonates with you. Um, again, if you like to book a personal reading that's more in-depth and for your personal situation, you can find that information in the description box below. Let's move on to deck number two.
If you chose deck number two, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below if you pick this deck and if it resonates with you. We have an oracle message. I'm going to save for the ending. Two tarot oracle messages. And I'm only going to be choosing from six cards today to conjure up who's coming towards you. So let's see. Page of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. King of Wands. High Priestess. Ten of Cups. Hermit. Wow, you guys have some good energy and some tricky energy as well. Who's coming towards you? First, we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is someone who is eager to start a new beginning. Um, it's more like an apprentice or someone who is starting a new adventure but is really excited about it. Also, with the High Priestess clarifying, this is causing you to have to use your intuition and follow your heart. It's also asking you to... I didn't even realize there's a child on this deck. Wow, that's interesting. Huh, that might apply to apply to some of you guys. But as far as the high priestess goes, whoever's coming towards you, it's going to be for the purpose of you reconnecting with your spirit and your psychic abilities with the high priestess. Also with the 10 of wands, whoever's coming is coming from a burdenless place. They have let go of burdens in their past um, they have plans accordingly with the Ten of Wands in reverse, and they're going to make you very happy with the Ten of Cups. There's no better card to get with a love situation emotionally than the Ten of Cups. You will feel complete, and it will feel like heaven compared to the last situation you were in. Um, as far as the Ten of Wands, that last situation you might have become might be coming out of or might have come out of may have been overwhelming for you. This is going to be a lot more easier. But again, you're going to have to trust your intuition and your heart and your psychic abilities to be guided towards this person. It's not going to be a typical person that you would normally um, normally go for with the King of Wands. This person may come off as hard, like a hard ass, but they're definitely not with the King of Wands in reverse in the Hermit card. I feel like they also might be someone who is pretty outgoing they might be the life of the party just whoever this person is don't judge them by what they look like or how they come off that's why i'm saying with the high priestess it's going to require you to be guided from a more intuitive place rather than what you see but inside deeply they want to work towards something long term now the page of pinnacles is like a child like uh, manifestation this person is just beginning they could be younger than you as well but they are working towards becoming a king they do have some king aspects that they still need to tighten up with the king of wands in reverse um this person could be a fire sign with the hermit card they can definitely be a virgo they don't have to be hmm um, but whoever they are, they're, they're very outgoing. They're on a journey as well, but they're going to be a little bit more adventurous than, than what it seems like. But that's why I'm saying don't judge them. Uh, they might seem like the life of the party or always outgoing or the person at your job that everybody likes, but deep down inside, um, they're really just a kid at heart and they want to, ex they want to work themselves up to being a king, <clears throat> but it is going to require you to, uh, use your psychic abilities and your intuition. So the lover's card, that's that's why like I feel like with this energy that I'm getting, it might it might be like a friendship. It might start off as a friendship, especially with the lovers in reverse. They could be a Gemini or the death card. They could be a Scorpio. They don't have to be or you could be these three Virgo, Scorpio or Gemini. Um, with that being said, that's why I'm saying like I feel like this is someone that you you believe that. No, I can't date them like you don't see it. But actually, I feel like they're going to make you really happy if you just give it a try. I'm not saying that this has to be something that's long term, but I feel like this person that's coming into your life, you guys are going to have a lot of fun, a lot of adventures, and they're just going to make you happy. They're going to make you laugh. You guys are going to dance. You're going to do great things with this person. They're not going to be a typical um, type of person. And that's my, that might be what you need right now, something that's a little bit more lighthearted. Uh, with the lover's card, I trust my knowing and make a commitment. So with these two being in reverse, that's why I'm saying you have to be able to connect with the high priestess inside of you, which is your intuition and your guidance, because this person is not going to seem commitment type at all. 
And it's up to you whether you want to um, make this a situation. Uh, also, the death card is in reverse. This could be someone from your past that you are refusing to let go of. So with this card, I let go and embrace new beginnings. I trust my knowing and make a commitment. So you may have been hurt in the past. Um, someone may have betrayed you, cheated on you. Only for a few people that I get the, like, the cheating part. But for the most part, I feel like somebody could have broke your heart. They could have been a Gemini, Gemini, they could have been a Scorpio, because you're refusing to let go and embrace new beginnings. You know, a lot of people, they want to know who's coming towards them, but if you are in this energy, you're going to push them away because you have a hard time trusting and knowing in your commitment. You're going to have to really use your intuition on this one as far as letting go and embracing new beginnings. Now, a little bit about whoever's coming towards you. You might meet them at work. With the ten of with the sorry ten ten of wands is here, but the page of pentacles, you might meet them at work, or you might meet them going out. If you've been a hermit, I'm advising that you step out and you be a little bit more passionate and a little bit more out there. Don't hide yourself. Nobody's gonna find you guys if you guys are in hermit mode. You know, a hermit is like a type of crab. They're in their shell. So you're going to have to come out of your shell to meet this person because this person is like very lively. They're not very stagnant. They're not as much of a homebody. Um, they like to enjoy life and they like adventure. They like the challenge. And they may see you as a challenge too, especially if they see you as a high priestess. They might feel like you're out of their league. Again, this could be for a guy or a girl. You could be a guy or a girl. It doesn't matter uh, whoever this person is. But I'm advising you to come out of hermit mode, letting go so that you can embrace this new person and trusting and knowing so that you can make a commitment. Let's see what your oracle message is. Forget who you are. Conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you. So let's see what this means. All right. So we have number 41. Forget who you are. You are at miss a new experience, one in which you have no idea of who you are anymore. Paradoxically, this apparent loss of self is a beautiful gift. The loss of memory of the self, the absence of the conditioning that defines us, means we can approach new people, like I said, <laughs> new situations with innocence and freshness. This is an opportunity to connect from the heart. So, Forget what you tell yourself you are. Forget who you tell you so yourself you are. Forget what others have said about you on what you ought to be. Forget the amenity, the avoidance, the fear we live with far too often. Forget who you have been taught to be. Instead, reawaken the innocence of the soul. Unknow thyself, accept the mystery of you. Like I said, have fun. Get your ass out of the house and be open to meeting new people. This doesn't have to be a love commitment. This could be just something along your journey that helps you break out of your shell. Um, and that's totally fine. There is no pressure with this person. I just think that you're going to be happy and you're going to find yourself again and you're going to be able to start all over. So this is a beautiful life cycle for you if you're open to it. Again, if you chose deck number two, don't forget to comment down below. I'm interested in seeing if this resonated with you. If you want to book a more in-depth reading personally for your situation, figure out why you have some blockages, why you can't let go, or whatever else you want to experience, you can do that. I'll leave my information in the description box. Thank you so much for those of you who chose deck number two and off to deck number three. If you chose deck number three, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below if you chose this deck. Let's see, we have the Oracle message. I'm gonna say for the end. I'm only choosing six cards to see who come, who is coming towards you. We have the Two of Cups, wow. <laughs> okay, deck number three, jeez. Okay, wow, okay. A lot of emotion, a lot of emotions running high. Look at all these cup cards, okay. So, first things first. Some of you guys may be familiar with these cards already. Whoever's coming towards you is a lover. They may even be a soulmate with the Two of Cups here and the Ace of Cups. They're going to want to offer you a commitment. You may have already met this person. If you haven't met this person, it's going to feel like you've known this person forever. You're going to feel like you've known this person. You guys are going to have an instant connection. The chemistry is going to be there. You're going to look at them and it's going to be like you've known this person forever. Um, Two of Cups, the Empress card, they may not be as affectionate or nurturing 
Um, and so it might be hard to detect, but I feel like this person also could be somebody that you already know because the Empress could be, is usually like a new transition or fertility, something new, something being born and it's in reverse, which means this person you may already know, you may have a really in-depth friendship. You may even be dating this person or talking to this person. I just want you to know they are going to make an offer. They are going to make an offer. And with the three of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. They might be younger than you. And that might be a fear of yours. And you might question how it's going to work out. Like, I feel like they're not as stable as you would want them to be financially or foundational. Like, they don't know what they want to do in life. Um, you're not sure if they have a plan. That's why I'm saying they may be younger. And that may worry you. We'll clarify those, those with the next deck. With the Four of Swords, um, now this is interesting because this could be, okay, I feel like you already know this person. If you don't already know this person, then they are someone that you're going to have an instant connection with. But the other scenario that I'm getting is that this person is someone from your past and it doesn't have to be an ex. It could be someone that you were talking to that just wasn't being emotionally there. They were kind of being manipulative as far as their emotions, not being honest about how they felt, which led you to basically kind of put your guard up and they may have been emotionally unavailable. They're ready now. So that's what I'm getting. They're definitely ready to make a commitment to you. I think you guys do have a deep connection and it's something that you can't let go of. So for those of you that this resonates, this scenario, it's a relationship or not even a relationship, just someone that you were talking to that you just felt like could have really went somewhere, but they just weren't emotionally involved in the situation, um, which caused you to kind of just have your guard up with the four of swords and to cut off communication. You may have stopped talking to them. They're ready now. They're going to come in with an offer. Let's see what we have here. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, see what I'm saying? This person. Okay, if this, yeah, this is a past person. Or you know what? It could be a new person. No, I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that if this is a new person. Sorry. Six of Cups. That just clarifies it. Um, okay. Nine of Pentacles. Remember how I said that if this person is someone from your past, uh, money was an issue. There was no financial stability. You're worried about that. With the Nine of Pentacles, um, this could mean that they've made a shift financially and the money's coming in faster. But I'm getting more that you're just worried about building a life with this person and having stability and having a home and uh, not having to worry about that. And if you're looking for that type of commitment, I feel like they're ready to offer you emotions and they're willing to work on the rest. I don't feel like they have it all together just yet. Also, um, I remember in tre Treasure Past Happiness with a Six of Cups. This is just somebody from your past that I'm, that I'm getting. Um, but they're acknowledging the connection that you guys do have. They see that this connection is rare and they want to make an offer. So they're probably going to come towards you and make an offer. I don't think this is a new person. For some of you, very, very small few of you, it may be a new person. But the fact that we have the Empress, which is the rebirth card, which is new, Six of Cups here, and um, the Four of Swords, and the Two of Cups, I'm pretty sure this is someone that you were dealing with or have met, at least, if you weren't in a relationship with them. So yeah, you may have not been in a relationship with them, but they're ready to make an a offer. For sure. Okay. Let's see what your Oracle card of guidance is. So we have, I wonder what will happen next. Ready to adventure. Precipes of change and pause before action. Precipes just basically means a very steep rock or a cliff, especially a tall one. So you may see this as a very challenge, like a very big challenge or a very, very steep mountain to climb, starting something over with this person. So let's see what this means. All right, what is that, number two? Okay. Number two. There are points in life where everything seems quite perfect. Things are calm, all is well, and we are comfortable. 
sheltered, easy in ourselves and in the relationships we have. There is, in short, nothing at all wrong. Then, oh, why can we not feel satisfied? This is because free spirits grow restless amidst too much sameness, much as we find Alice in you, dear reader, at this time. This card tells you that very soon, if you choose, you will have an unprecedented opportunity for adventure. It is your decision. But I think I know what you will choose when the moment of change arrives, just in time to save you from the numbness of too much habit and repetition. This is the very edge of change. Prepare yourself. So basically what this is also saying is just don't look at this as the same situation. This is going to be a totally fresh new start, but you have to get out of that past energy as basically seeing it being repetitive. Like this is going to be the same thing with this person. This person has changed. Uh, they are still working on their financial stability and their foundation. However, they are emotionally available and they want to offer you um, their cup of emotions and cup of happiness. It's just, again, I wonder what will happen next. It's all up to you. So if you chose deck number three, this is your reading. Thank you so much. Don't forget to comment down below. If you do want to book a more in-depth reading or more personal reading, you can find that in the description box below. Let's move on to deck number four. If you chose deck number four, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below if this resonates with you. This is your oracle message. These are the other two. Let's look at the first six to see who is coming towards you. Six of cups, right off the bat, could be a past person. And they're coming in fast with the eight of wands, knight of pentacles. So this, uh, who's coming towards you, I'm noticing is fairly... Um, predicated on the past for most of these decks. I think I had one of the other decks that had um, someone new coming in, but for the most part, it could be past energy. So this person could be from your past with the Six of Cups. They're coming in very fast with the Eight of Wands, faster than you thought. If they're not coming in physically, they're certainly coming in with a message. Also with the Queen of Swords, I feel like you may be in a different energy this time. You are standing your ground. You know exactly what you want and you're tired of settling for less. This may come off as being very bitchy or cold hearted, but it's really not the case. This is you just going after what you want, especially with the page of swords. You're very bold. Um, you have some type of courage in standing your ground. And as you see, her sword is in the ground and she has the bowl. It could come off as being stubborn. I just think that you're ready to move towards something um, better. Especially with the Five of Pentacles, I feel like whatever you have lost in the past due to relationships, you are building and have built your own. Basically, you're the shit. And um, whoever comes to you has to come correct. And they need to know exactly what it is they have to offer because you're not settling for less. So who's coming towards you? I feel like they're going to be very intimidated by you. Um, and let's, let me just clarify with this. If this is this a past person? page of pentacles this is a past person for sure let's see knight of cups okay this is a past person um i i don't know if you're gonna take this person back i feel like you've been doing better off without them i'm gonna put these to the side here until i get to them because i'm still getting messages um, okay, you lost some stuff with this relationship, but you've built your own. So with this person, you have the five of pentacles, which you dwelled over for some time, but then you kind of got into your own power, started walking in your power and you manifested much more on your own. You're starting to see the peace that comes with being by yourself. And honestly, whoever this person is, is acknowledging that also with the page of swords, they could have been stalking you. And we have another page here too. They could have been very childish. You're just tired of it. Whoever this person is like that's coming towards you. You've dealt with it before and you're basically like the past is the past. You know, you're in a t totally different energy and I think that that is intimidating to them. Also, I don't know why I'm noticing this, but her crown is, or her uh, throne is dope as fuck. It's like a suede chair um, with the brick around it. It is just amazing. Um, I noticed that. So yeah, you have basically went through the battle and you're fed up. So whoever this person is, is probably going to get that. You might say some harsh things to them um, and you feel like you don't need them. You've done this all on your own. And um, but the problem is deck number four. I just don't feel like you're 
you have completely let go of this person. I still think that you have love for this person. Like I tell everyone I do personal readings for, just because you guys are not in a relationship does not mean that you have moved on from this person. And so with this being in reverse, I am open to opportunities for personal growth. I'm just questioning whether or not this is also probably their energy. Yeah, for sure. This is a past person, but you're over them. They, you have grown, you've upgraded, you've done the work, you've healed, you are now speaking up for what you want and you're not settling for less. And I just don't think, I don't see this happening with you guys because you've outgrown this person. This person is very closed-minded. They're not open to personal growth, which tells me that you've outgrown them. Because you you made the changes necess necess necessary. And the Knight of Cups, I know that the right person awaits until I'm ready. I don't feel like you're... <sighs> okay, how do I say this without sugarcoating it? Basically, you are focused on your stability. You've built this thing for yourself. You're excited about your future. Um, you may have discovered your purpose. You're not dwelling on the past anymore. What you lost, you lost, and you're ready to move forward, which is why I feel like that new person of love, I'm going to do another who's coming towards you probably like in another month or so. I feel like your energy will change and you will be uh, manifesting a new person after like 30 days or more. Because right now, I just don't see you focused on love. And though I know you may came have come to this reading to see like who's coming towards you. Your past person is coming towards you, um, but they have not changed. There is no personal growth here. You have out, you've outgrown them and there's nothing wrong with that. And the only, this is what I tell my clients all the time. The only way that this is going to work out is if you either stoop down to this level or this person evolves at a king of swords rate. They're not even a page right now. They have a lot of work to do. I don't think you're going to wait, but I also feel like this person is on hold due to you focusing on yourself. Nothing wrong with that. There will be a person that comes when the, the time is right. Right now, I don't feel like the time is right. So that's who's coming towards you, someone in the past. Let me pull your oracle message. Becoming braver, exactly. That's what you're learning. Like I said, with the Page of Swords, someone who's courageous, who speaks their mind, they don't care. Like they just, they know what they want. They're tired of not being heard. They have a voice. So your card is becoming braver, resilience, experience, growing stronger, fresh perspective. I absolutely agree with this card. Okay. Alice is brave and so are you. With everything that has taken place in your life of late, you have often felt overwhelmed, challenged, and uncertain of whether you can cope with very much more. But you have shown great courage and perhaps even more wonderfully, you've developed so much resilience. Because of the extreme nature of the events and experiences you have been working with, you will now be able to deal with all matter of circumstance with great calm and heroic abilities. And this is no small thing. Being challenged in quite radical ways can see some people repeat entirely from life. But you, like Alice, can see one of the aspects of working through adversity is realizing just how much you can do. Most of all, please know these truths. You are strong. You are brave. You are resilient. You have been dignified, graceful, and remain curious under the greatest sorts of pressures. This has been in many ways your finest hour, and you will be able to set an amazing example when life returns to something just a little closer to what people call normal. So yeah, I think that um, your past person's coming towards you, and they're just going to be like, holy crap, who are you? Like you've changed so much. Well, yeah, you had to be brave and strong. Um, to move forward. You lost a lot and you're just ready to move forward. And so I do think new love is going to come in um, after you get out of this energy of focusing on yourself and building your foundation. And whoever's going to come in is going to have to match that because you're going to be operating in this frequency of attracting those type of people. You've outgrown this person and you've outran them. They have a lot of catching up to do. So if you picked group number four, don't forget to comment down below. I'm interested in seeing if this resonates with you. In the meantime, again, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can find that in the description box below. Thank you for allowing me to guide you along your journey. And until next time.